Welcome back, folks, to Call of the Wild. Today, we are going to be looking at Rancho Del Arero Hakalugi. I don't know. I Listen, I slaughter beautiful languages all the time. <laughs> so let's get used to it. Today, we're going to take our, our first gander at this map. Now, we'll probably end up doing more than one episode on a lot of these maps because I don't feel like... Because I don't want to skip over the entry. So, because a lot of people are going to want to see that, obviously, to see if they want the DLC. Welcome to Rancho del Arroyo. Your flight was okay. Can I get you? This is Vaquero country. Generations of cowboys have eked out a living here. My family among them. But all that cattle ranching has left its mark. I'd be trading this land's future for a quick buck if I wasn't prepared to face up to that. You've been all over the world, hunted in countless reserves. If anyone knows what this place needs to compete with the best of them, it's you. Dude, you are asking the wrong person. So, I want you to help us make a change. Become Northern Mexico's leading biosphere and hunting reserve. Put great ones the everywhere. Guy. Ooh, this is uh, quite fancy. All right, so we. Sleepyhead. It's time to get to work. I was trying. Out and work off last night's carne asada. Do me the honor of officially opening this outpost first, huh? Or feel free to scout out the place. Get the Bacanora out of your system. This building, La Casa Grande, or the Big House, is gonna be your base of operations. I know, it's a mess. I took my own stuff, but... Nobody's volunteered to come pick up the family's things yet. So, look all you want, but don't touch. <laughs> My mom would come over and hit me with her flip-flop if I so much as hinted that someone had been brummaging around. <laughs> uh, family, you know. Anyway, settle in. Ah, right, you let me talk, dude? U.S. hunters love the glass terrain with binoculars. But if you find yourself in denser cover, tracking's the way to go. Just make sure you keep your bearings. Oh, that last statement made me super wary. Uh, that means this might be a dense type looking map. Also, what does it want us to do here? Is it is it Alright, no, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take a look around. Um Whoa. Alright. Not even a hundred percent sure what this map all has i'm actually going to pull it up as we play right here i'm kind of curious he said that the that we may want to use tracking more than our binoculars that makes me really wonder uh to be honest with you because i'm not good when i don't have a big clearing of animals to shoot at <laughs> um okay so we have Jackrabbit, pheasant, turkey, coyotes, bobcats, sheep. Whoa. There's a coyote right there. Pronghorn, whitetail, mule deer. So, interestingly enough, it's not a big game map, it doesn't look like. What time is it? Seven in the morning. I'm assuming... Well, well I'm, I'm guessing we're going to see some whitetail. But I'm kind of interested that, so I'm new to a lot of these new maps, and uh, Collard Bakary, I'm not sure what that is, but a lot of this stuff here on this map seems like it's kind of on other maps. Oh man, and it, it is super brushy, isn't it? That is, uh, I don't know how I feel about this. What was this? This is a collar, but is it oh, it looks like a pig. A well, neither, actually, but it is tasty, at least in my estimation. Just make sure you don't burst the scent gland. 
Don't burst a scent gland? You said it wasn't a skunk. Hmm, I wonder if we can't get... Oh, man, this, this looks like a map that's going to kick my butt. They're just right off the bat. Normally, in the beginning of these maps, there's a lot of area to go ahead and look around in. You can't have this clearing. There's a lot of stuff to murder right away. This place is super loud. Oh, man. I was like, man, I'll see something on this hill. I am not sure about that. Oh, this is going to be a terrible first episode, guys. You, we're going to do this. And you'll be like, oh, first episode. Apparently, this map doesn't... Oh, have animals. The Rio Grande turkey has longer legs than its northern cousins. And you better believe it's going to make the most of them if it hears you. Decoys and callers are your best friends here. What are you saying, buddy? Man, there really isn't... I don't have a good shot on them. Ooh, there's a four. I can't hit 280 feet, I don't think. Right? Uh, let's see. No, I don't think I can. Boy. Besides, I want to actually see if I can find something else here. Boy, guys, this is... This may be rough for old Dave here. As a yoga instructor, um, my I don't know if I'm going to be that good at hiding and stuff, you know? Hmm. Although you think my ninja training would come in handy, but, you know, I'm, I'm still in training. What was that? Oh, there's a pronghorn? Ah, man. These, I already see what he means by tracking. We cannot see... Dog... Chewbacca, you're going to give me away here. Dang it. Hmm. Let me see what I can do. Because I don't want this episode of me creeping around the bushes like I'm trying to stare in someone's driveway. Or stare, stare in someone's window while they're changing. I think we we're really close to that pronghorn. It's been a little bit. Ooh. Give me... We need a good shot here. I'm a little nervous. I actually did not realize we were this close to the pronghorn. Um, dang it. Give me a shot here, guy. Work with me, buddy. Ooh, what was that? A ringneck pheasant? I think them need to be in the air for me to shoot them. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, I think I got him. Oh, I think I got him. I think I really got him, guys. Woo! I've been see I was sneaking around the bushes for a while. I will say, uh, Chewbacca here sure does rattle them sh shrubs and uh I can't seem to get him to do anything. I hope that was the right gun. Uh, now that I think about it, I do think it probably was. I think I did intentionally think about it before I shot. But if I didn't, I'm going to blame you guys for distracting me. Silver? Oh. I mean, hmm. Boy, that wasn't as very good. It's hard to tell. What are the... We should look over here. 98 is diamond. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab this guy. There's a little bit of an opening over here, I see. Maybe we'll take a wander out here. Uh, I want to try to get something really cool that we haven't got before. Oh, more shrubs down there. Who would have thought? Man, there are shrubs everywhere. I thought I was getting to an opening, and it's just like another opening to more shrubs. Friggers. Maybe we... Hmm. I'm going to go look around for a little bit. I want to try to get something cool this episode.
What the hell was that? Dude, you need to cool it. Don't mind if I do. These are actually kind of a cool looking bird. A red and blue head like that. Uh, bronze. Let's see how much money it was. It did walk up to me. I wasn't really going for it. I wanted to walk farther down here. Uh, I wanted to try to get down to this water here. Uh, one of these water areas. All right, that works. Oh, turkey. Uh, was this going to bring you guys back for something else? But I'm going to murder that turkey. Um, can we make it so that the dog's pad or foot pads don't sound like I heard a buffalo coming at you? When he is walking, he sounds absolutely crazy. I don't know if you guys can hear that as well as I can, but it sounds like I'm getting followed by a whole thing of buffalo. And there ain't even buffalo on this map. So a few things interesting besides that. This shrubland, this may be the spot. Oh, I thought I saw something. Oh. So many freaking turkeys, it's unbelievable. Um, this may be the map we do our bow hunting on. Now, this is New England because these shrublands, when you come up on something, you really come up on it. And your best bet is to sit and just walk around in the bushes, crouch. You can see here, I mean, I've went a pretty good ways here across the map. That's not, you know, uh... And, and uh, everything that I've seen is, like, right on something. And it kind of is a little bit, I'll be honest, I'm trying not to sound like a negative Nancy right now, but it is really rough when you're trying to use firearms. This is a map I clearly am going to have to explore a lot more because I am sure, ooh, what's the distance on you? I know it's a plain old whitetail. But I, I want it. I, I really want it. Um, you are 182. And you are dead. And 99. Alright, so that's kind of a... I'm hoping that's decent. I don't... I'm hoping it's gold at least. It's definitely not a diamond. Um, and it may be just a silver, but to be honest with you, for what I've seen, I've seen a lot of does so far. I've left some of them. That one I walked right into. I couldn't believe it. And it wasn't even like running away or nothing. It was just there and it was okay with me being there. So, uh, I think as I, as I learn the game or the bow hunting part of the game, I think this might be a really good a map, in fact, for that. Um, outside of that, it's it's kind of a rough go. Um, I, you know, looking around this lake, I haven't seen... Now, obviously, we're only in the morning. Um, but a silver? How bad did it... How, how did I miss... Oh, I guess it was a silver. We got heart, lung. All right, so not a bad shot at all. What I think I'm going to have to do is this is going to be a really great time. I am going to explore the crap out of this map before the next episode. And I really want to have something cool when we come back. Um, but anyway, you guys have a wonderful day. And by the way, I want to say thanks to you guys showing up to the call of the Wild Stream. Seems like you guys have been really enjoying them. Anyway, you guys have a wonderful day. And I'll see you next time, folks. Have a good one.